Pastor Eli Leitz out here, Wheat Ridge Evangelical Lutheran Church, coming to you again to study and talk about the Ten Commandments. We're in that second table of the Ten Commandments now, that, that fourth commandment, honor your father and mother. What does that mean? It, it means we should fear and love God so that we do not despise or anger our parents and other authorities, but we should honor them, serve and obey them, love and cherish them. And I know that kind of, uh, we don't like it, especially as kids. We don't like this idea of authorities over us. But God has actually given us our parents and other authorities. But today, we're just going to talk specifically about mom and dad uh, for our ultimate good. They are a picture of our Heavenly Father. Remember, we've got a God, and we talked about this earlier, we've got a God who's not just this God in the ether that's just this all-powerful, all-knowing, all-everything God, but instead, He has become our Father. He's made himself to be our father. That's an office. That's more than just this uh, almighty judge up there, but it's it's a father and we are his children. And then he actually gives us parents for this as well, here temporally speaking, so that we can uh, receive these good gifts from God through them. Uh, we're not like the rest of the animal kingdom where we've got uh, the, the male and the female who come together for procreation and then the, the young kind of uh, live their life on their own, right? That's not the way that our Lord has actually uh, capped off the pinnacle, the top of creation, which is mankind, which is you and me. He actually uh, gives more gifts to us. And that kind of starts with mom and dad. It starts with these authority figures that are given for our good so that they might uh, put a roof over our head, so that they might love us and cherish us as well, so that they might put food on the table in our bellies, uh, lead us up in good education so that we are good and upright citizens, but most importantly, lead us up in, in the ways of our Lord so that we might know Him, right? And we might come to church and receive Christ crucified for us each and every single Sunday. This is the gift of parents. Over and against, and that's good, over and against the things of evil, right? So we've got the gift of life in our parents because God has actually uh, used them to bring us into life and then continues throughout our life, especially our young, our young time as teenagers and, and little kids too, bring us throughout our life uh, and, and give us all these good gifts. We dare not despise that. Despising them is basically despising God, saying, you know what? I don't like the way that you've set this up. I think I could do better on my own. The fact that you've given me these individuals to serve me. And that's maybe the way in which we should think about this authority because God never sets up authority figures uh, so that they can just rule over everybody with an iron fist. Just look at Christ. He's the ultimate authority over everything, right? All things are placed under his feet, and yet he came not to be served but to serve so that he could actually be uh, the sacrifice for all of us. He could be the ultimate servant for us. Well, we look at our parents in the same exact way. God has given them the authority over us, not so that they could rule over us with an iron fist, but so that they could serve us, serve us in the ways of our Lord, serve us by actually bringing us up and correcting us and maybe even reproving us sometimes but so that we can receive God's good gifts. They're a good gift. Mom and dad's a good gift too. Well, thanks be to God for that. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.